Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking Dungeon. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> I attempted to clean and then I got like to a quarter of the cable and I just stopped. <laughs> Here, let me turn this shit some more. Uh, it's not bad actually. What do you think? That's good? That's fucking great. Uh, let me turn this a cut. <laughs> How bad was that episode? What episode? The last one. It was, it was fine. It was fine? It wasn't okay. bad at all. Okay. Why, because you were high? Oh, yeah. Dude, it wasn't bad at all. I told you after. You probably don't remember me. I know, I do remember. High. I do remember asking, and you said, no, why you sound like Dill? Perfectly fine. That's yeah. normal. And then, like, I looked at the picture of me after, and my eyes were, like, fucking peeled shut. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're Actually, my girl called me today, and she was like, why are you guys talking about shaving your nutsack? Like, what is that about? And I was like, what are we talking about? So you guys have been talking about it for 15 minutes. And I was like, okay. You know what that is? <laughs> That's do banter. No. <laughs> Let's do talk. I shave my fucking nutsack. Like, Ooh, what do, do women talk about shaving their pussy? Woman, tap in. Women, tap in. <laughs> and uh, X males tap in as well. Uh, we no, 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 <laughs> no. Because they still shave their ball sack. They probably have the no, same. No, no, I'm talking they, about. I said X males. They probably have a better technique than I do. Probably. X males, do you shave your new form pussy? Maybe. Pussy plastics. How? 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 <sighs> How current are they with the technology that we have in this modern day? What do you mean by pussy plasty? Pussy plasty. You know what a rhinoplasty is? No. Actually, no, not a pussy plasty. I mean, a. <laughs> I mean, uh. Yeah. They take it to the chop shop and then they get a pussy. Oh, oh okay. You know? Is that, oh, is that a thing? I bet you. Bro, what do you think trans, so many trends exist, like for kids and shit? No, but the thing is. I haven't really heard about that all that much. As far as like chicks with dicks, no. Ex dudes, ex dudes with and no dick, no dick. Yeah, because I feel like you see a lot of trannies with dicks. Yes. Like they just have fake tits and ass, right? And makeup, and they still got a dick. Right, but I I, I would imagine that's because you know maybe we're not there yet. As far as like, it's like too expensive or too hard. Well, it, that. But I'm saying accessibility isn't. Uh -huh. All the way there, I but see also, that. it's um, you know, not many, not many doctors are doing it at the level of that doctors are doing the BBLs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. More and more doctors are coming out nowadays. They're making some banging BBLs. But I saw a BBL the other day on TikTok, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Oh, get you go on the ice skates." And then she starts fucking doing those spins, and her fucking BBL starts going horizontal. Dude, it was so funny. No way, really? Yeah, dude, it was so funny. And I wonder how it would be if you put her in that um. <laughs> Put a, put a put a girl with the it outrageously done BBL in uh -huh. um you know that, that, that UFO the UFO yeah dude. dude how would that be dude so like you know like a BBL like an ass is kind of shaped like in, like that well the O will turn this way so it was like pointed out it was so funny it was just it went like this though <laughs> yeah oh my god dude but she was she was she was, she was like a pro figure skater or something because she was getting those spins down like you know where they hold their foot at the end and they have yeah, like yeah, one yeah. knee all the way down yeah that was pretty sick that's some Tanya Harding type shit. Sure, whoever she is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, but it was pretty cool. But the BBL, it's it's not attached to anything. There's nothing holding it down. Right. Nothing keeping it grounded. Right, uh, right. I get, I get that. I get that. Well, other than the skin. Oh, that's it. That's all you need. I should get a BBL. Just a little one, though, because I have, like, no ass at all. But the you know, thing is... Take, take my love handles, right? Just uh, put it in my ass. And I'll just have, like, a nice man ass. Put it in your calves. Just have some fucking <laughs> type of calves. Massive calves. I... Fuck, fuck yes, thank God. Dude, I thought of something to tell you today. And then... I was like, what the fuck was it the whole way home? And now it just hit me. I got some fucking shit for you, dude. We're totally cutting out the name. The name is being cut from existence. <laughs> Right now. Oh, man. So remember, uh, like, maybe, like, last year or two years ago, I, s I said, hey, dude, this fucking older guy at my work's fucking her. Yes. Well. She's back. She's back. No way. So, 
we're gonna have to cut this name out too. You know, we usually don't. Yeah, yeah. My boy Ivan invited me to his fucking Halloween party this, this weekend, right? And he's like, he's like, yeah, dude, I keep like inviting people, and like, he just like keep fucking around. And then I was like, would oh, you invite him? He's like, of course, dude, because he works. They work together. I was like, hey man, uh, Ivan said you were going to the party. He was like, yeah, uh, I was thinking about it, but my date, this, this, and that. And jokingly, I was like, oh. You're and he was like, yeah, how'd you know? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, dude, you're like 43. What's wrong with that? It's uh, To me, it's a little weird. Why is that weird? I have to tell you off air, but it's a little weird. She's of age. No, no. It's just such a big fucking gap. I, I get that. I get that. So do, do you think do you think Leonardo DiCaprio's dating is weird? Does he date younger? Is that he his dates thing? younger. Oh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. I'm not sure if he goes underage. If he does, that is absolutely That's weird. But, but his thing is he doesn't go past 25 or 26 years old. Oh, fuck. So as, he, soon, as soon as they hit that, he's giving them the boot. You get here. the fuck out of your yeah, bitch. Yeah, that's goddamn right. Um, okay, I'll just say it. Fuck it. He, he doesn't listen to the pod. He did a snooze as Ivan, so fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> um, bro, he's like a fucking nerdy dude. Uh-huh. Super nerdy. And he just gets out the vibe of just getting no bitches. You know? And he's just like... I mean, Ivan, he's a cool guy, right? I mean, Ivan like him. But he just gives off that weird vibe. Like, he's like a weird dude, you know? I get you. I get you. Kind of like... You know, I just watched this movie, too, with Jennifer Lawrence. And, like, it's called No Hard Feelings. Right? Okay. She's kind of... She's kind of trying to... Break this younger kid He's 19 or 20 years old Out of his shell So he can get ready To go to college uh -huh. You know It's kind of like He stays in his room all day Kind of like on some Incel type shit Okay Except he's not really Hating on women like that Okay He just He just doesn't have it He just doesn't I mean? have it yet He's just very shy Okay Right And so it's kind of It's kind of like that Kind of like He's always yes. got the Oculus Rift on uh -huh. You know doing Because that. I know for a fact That Yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's, in, he's in the VR just fucking yeah <clears throat> he's yeah. got his like stuffed dog or his real dog or something oh man <laughs> <laughs> uh, totally exactly like that he's not shy though it's I don't know but he's very oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. oh yeah yeah he's not shy at all he's actually very fucking funny cause the more I get to know this guy oh this guy's fucking hilarious I fucking love talking to this guy it's maybe that's why they like him he's just super nerdy yeah but I mean that, that's also that's the same like, that's, that's also like, like his whole life though you know, but you say he's funny, right? It's also the same reason fucking Pete Davidson's out here slanging dick everywhere. He's what? He's funny? He's hilarious. Oh, yeah, dude, he's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, yeah, exactly. all he talks about is that shit. He's like, oh, dude, I just bought this new arcade system. I got this new fucking Capcom 3 from fucking 1992. I'm playing it. I played, like, 14 hours yesterday. Oh, I got this new fucking this. I got this new that. It's all fucking, like, and he's like, oh, dude, he collects, like, uh, little, little figurines, like, little tiny ones. Yeah. He's passionate. Yeah, exactly, but... He's passionate. I like the dude. He's fucking funny. Yeah. He's cool. And I can get down with some nerd shit, you know? Absolutely. Me too. So, but keep it to a fucking limit. But what I was saying is, is, like, I didn't think that was, like, her type, you know? Right, I understand. But what we have seen from that person is that <laughs> they've taken a very, very sharp right. turn. That's what I told him. Very, very That's exactly what I told him. I was like, oh, she's still fake as fuck. She, he was like, she stopped doing that. And I was like, oh, sorry. I was like, Jesus. Yeah, they they've taken a very very sharp turn, and it's like, who knows? They went through they went through some type of arc or something. You think she's still like eighty five pounds now? I'm like fucking super sucked in with big ass lips. The lips were that's the problem for me. They were just, what the fuck was that? What you know what I'm talking about? Yes. What the what the fuck? Yeah. So, uh, I'm actually hoping they don't come, just because I don't feel like talking to them. You know what? I hope they do go, and I hope you do have some type of uh. A different encounter than you're expecting, just so I can hear what what happened. Okay. You know. You know, Daddy's ending updates. Yes. Cool. I can do that. But I'm like I'm a likable guy. You know, I make friends. I guess. Wait, wait. Say it again. I'm a likable guy. Oh yeah, absolutely. But the thing is, you may be as likable as you know, the most likable person on earth. But if that person's on some hater shit, they're on their hater shit. There's nothing you can do about it. Hey, you know what? There's that new movie of John Cena and that black comedian. Have you seen it? It's on Hulu. John Cena? They're like on some fucking island somewhere, right? And the main thing was is that everyone likes John Cena. But he's playing a character. But whoever the character is, everyone likes him. He's never met no one that's never liked him. And he makes friends with every single person. And then she finally, he finally meets his, his wife's dad. Uh -huh. For the first time he was locked up. Fucking hates him. Absolutely hates him. Everything about him. 
And it's a total culture shock to him. Totally. And he it fucked up his whole, like, vibe. Everything got fucked. And he was like, I want him to like me so bad that I look like an asshole now. It was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like that might happen to me. She's like, oh, it's freaking... It's so, fucking, so, it's you think, done. so you think that if she has some type of negative reaction towards you being there, you think you'll try and push and push and push until she likes you? Fuck, no, I don't give a fuck. I just walk away. So, so what? I so, don't, I, okay, for so one, how is that going to happen to you? She only knows that guy. Right. I know most of the people there. Yeah, So yeah, she yeah. could suck a fucking cock. That's right. Yeah. God damn. Suck a fucking dick, bitch. That's right. Like big old lips, fucking ugly ass. Yeah. Fucking looking ass, bitch. Pale ass, bitch. Fucking hair all sideways, ass, bitch. Fucking split ends, ass bitch. Fucking big ass forehead, ass bitch. That's all I can remember about her. Damn. <laughs> you know, and this is where her next arc begins. Her villain arc. She's gonna subscribe to this podcast and instantly unsubscribe. You're on your fucking Naruto shit or something? What's going on? You're in your anime shit again? Absolutely not. You're not gonna get no Demon Slayer? I'm never watching anime again. Why not? Why? Because anime... I loved it at one point. Anime is sick. You know what I mean? It is dope. But the thing is, I've tried watching it multiple times. I just can't get into it anymore. Anymore. You know what I really love? Yeah, what do you like now? Big Mouth. I really love Big Mouth. I love Big Mouth. I I tried it. It wasn't for me, you know? I love it. I love it. You still watch it? I just... Yeah, I watched the new season as soon as it dropped. And I finished it within the day. (laughs) (laughs) Within a day or two. You just order some Domino's, just kick back, and just... Nope, I'll watch that shit on my drive home, baby. Oh my god! <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> watch that shit on my drive home. We're back. We're back, everybody. Welcome back to Daddy's Dungeon, episode 82. Jose's back with fucking watching and driving. Welcome back. What else am I supposed to do? This is the old you. What else am I supposed to do? You excited? Old me? This mm-hmm. shit never left. You, um... Okay. It never left. I remember there was that one point where you told me that, uh... You started yelling at people texting and driving. Do you remember that? You would honk at them and fucking put the fucking phone down. Oh, yeah. Put yeah. the phone down. Oh, yeah, you're totally right. So what why now? But I don't text and drive. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> I feel like one is worse than the other. Yeah, the texting and driving is worse. You think so? Yeah. Why? You know why? Because they're like... Going back and forth. They're going back and forth. Uh-huh. I'm and doing, you're I'm just... Doing, I'm doing a lot of fucking listening. I'm doing a lot of listening. <laughs> but my eyes are also closed because I'm asleep. I'm <laughs> falling asleep on the drive. So, yeah, they're fucking up. We'll just crash right into a semi or something. No, but um, in reality, they're doing the wrong thing because, you know, we're, we're all fucking up. We're all fucking up. We're all fucking up. Uh, luckily, my sister's still driving me right now. I can't wait to get my car back, though. Because it's like, I'm a little tied down, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, I'm a little tied down. But... Um, I just sit there on my phone the whole time. Still no music, almost never, unless I ask her, which I have been asking her. It's it, I'll just be sitting there on Instagram, and then I realize, like, dude, it's fucking quiet in here. Like, this shit's a little, like, awkward for me. Uh, and she's just sitting there just... No music, you know? Is that, is that typically her vibe? Every day? Yeah, and it... Uh, dude, and then... Oh, even, even without you in there? A pro- how the fuck am I supposed to know? Probably. Because, I mean, I know there was a point in time where I would carpool with my coworkers, and I only did this for about a week. And um, I'd carpool with my coworkers, and I didn't want to play the <laughs> stuff that I would typically play. Are you, were you embarrassed? I, it's not that I was embarrassed. It's just that I, I kind of... You didn't think they would like it. Because I enjoy my time with that stuff, uh-huh. and I, I like to enjoy my time in the morning when I drive. Uh-huh. I also would like them to enjoy their time their in time. the morning. Uh-huh. I'm being fucking considerate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So this morning, she was playing like some music, and then I got an email. This is fire, by the way. This one. Soy bueno, pero sin tiendas. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay. No, you didn't actually. How do you say that last word? Soy bueno, pero si entiendo. Entiendo. Entiendes is oh, like. Oh, it's plural. Is like, like someone you else understand. understanding. Uh-huh. Okay, got you. Um, got an email and it said, "Thank you for being one of Chilino Sanchez's top listeners." Yeah. We're giving you a free opportunity to buy one of his shirts before we drop it. Wow. I was like, I'm one of his top listeners. What was that on? Spotify. Really? Yeah. So Who, who's making who's making merch for that man? Well, so it's like. Chilino's page so mm-hmm. if someone's doing it someone in his family's got, trying to get that bag like Lil Peep you know oh yeah they drop like a new album like every year for him his mom 
Yeah. <laughs> Mac Miller type shit. But, uh, yeah, so I'm like one of his top listeners, bro. That's so sick. So did you buy the shirt? Fuck no. It's fucking Fuck no. ugly. Is it really? It's one of those shirts that has like that uh, elastic band on the arms and the neck. So it's like armband, white. Oh, it's a ringer tee. Is that what it's called? Yeah, they're ringer tees. So it's like tight uh-huh. and tight around your neck. Yeah. And it's just a big photo of Cholino. I was like, eh, I'm not, I'm not really about it. I get you. It wasn't wasn't really the vibe. Yeah, ringer tees. the thing is like, you know like some people put like, uh, you know like those UFC shirts? Where they have like the collages of the fighter. And they look like they, they're meant to be on the shirt. Yeah. Well, this one is like a rectangle press-on of Cholino on the shirt. You can tell there's a rectangle there. How whack. So it's like a different colored black with the black shirt. It's not looking too Yeah, good. I get you. I was like, eh, I can pass. Looks kind of gay. I thought that was dope, though. <clears throat> that you're one of the top listeners. Yeah. That, that is pretty dope. So I uh, I put that on today. And so, I'm vibing with so that. So what's your favorite song? Something about the cheese maze. The, see, the thing is, I just put them on at work. I just vibe. I don't look at the song name or anything. I just vibe. Something about fucking Chisme. Yeah, I know. I made los chismes, maybe. And then, and then there's like Nieve and El whatever. Nieve is Zanero. Yeah, that one. That one's fire, too. Yeah. And uh, I don't even know what that means. Something January? Uh, sn- uh, snow in January. Fire. Or January snow time or whatever the fuck. Fire. Yeah. And uh, so I put that on in the morning in the car. Zanero. Yeah, and then uh, I fucking, so I learned that I can do Siri on the thing, so I don't have to ask her to put it, uh-huh. so I just hold the little button, and I go, Siri, play Tsunami, and they play some fucking techno shit, and I was like, yeah, I was like, yo, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and if you go to Big Boy, if you go to Big Boy, hey, Siri, play Big Boy, they play some fucking bump of grand, fucking Puerto Rican ass <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I was like, no, Siri, play Tsunami. Gatecrasher. The real Tsunami. <laughs> yeah. And then uh played like some other band named Tsunami. It's like uh, metal-ish. I was like, okay, this is all right. But then I, then I just finally put the song. All right, then I finally said, uh, Siri, play Gatecrasher. And I was like, playing Gatecrasher by Tsunami. And I was like, shut the fuck up, dude. You did not just say that with a fucking little... Mm. Well, I mean, fucking kidding me? I don't think she understands it without the T in front. I know, I know. But, uh, bro, I was getting lit as fuck in the car today. But she never turns the volume past 13. I don't know where it is about the number 13 with her. Or down, not, like, not wanting it to be too loud. 13 volume, bro? Your shit goes to 65? Like... Okay, uh, but, I mean... That's like 9%. But, you see, that is pretty low. But it is, it does it still sound pretty high? But it sounds a little high. Like, did she bump that thing to, like, 20, bro? I'd be... I'd be fucking lit. You'd be chilling. Be so chill. See, my number is forty-five. Mine is fifty-nine. Mine is fifty-nine. Why fifty fucking nine? D fuck nine. Why fi- is it because Literally of that? Because of that. Oh my god. Literally. Just suck their dick. Why don't you? Think about when I got my car, bro. Yeah, no, you're totally right. Bro, from yours right here, I'd be like, <laughs> I fucking got one straight up. Mine is forty-five because I just feel like if I go past that, I just, I just think I'll just fucking blow myself up in the car. I think I will blow myself you up. You think in the your car. car will blow up? I think I, my, I will or blow up. Or you will up. combust. No, I think the car will just implode. It'll. No, I'm sorry. It'll explode. Yeah, that, that bitch will explode. Yeah, so I seriously, I did it for G59. And you still do it to this day? To, the, to this day. Yes. Well, actually, not to this day because you ain't got the motherfucking <laughs> car. But when you get your car back, is that something you will continue? It's 59. Okay, well, that's dedication right there. It's it, it was just like a thing that I started doing. I was like, did you find nine? That's sick. And then also, I think uh, si- it's Max is 63. It's just a little too loud. You can hear like a, a faint difference in the noise. Max is 63? It's such a weird number. It's such a weird number. Such a it weird number. should be number. 0 to 100, me personally. Or, I mean, yeah, no, you're totally right. But Or even 0 to 50, depending on, you know, the, the, the details of their uh, quality on speakers and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah bro Gate Crash was playing oh man dude I just went on a fucking I haven't listened to Hardcore in like a week mm-hmm. just because uh, I've just been listening to podcasts I've been way behind and then uh, oh man I put that shit on I was so late in the morning I fucking get my head shaking I was like <laughs> just wanted to get violent yeah I was getting violent in there and I started doing my little swings and shit outside of the car after it was fucking sick and my sister looked at me and I was a retard speaking of violence dude I have been Dreaming nothing but violence. Literally nothing but violence. Like act- dreaming or like you just like daydreaming about it? Dreaming. 
My dreams? Full fledged violence. Literally. Okay. I will give you three dreams I had. Okay. All right. One dream was uh, our world was riddled with zombies, right? Zombie apocalypse. Sick. And me and my people, I don't know who it was because I didn't see any of them. We were holding down a warehouse as like a fort, right? This thing had multiple levels. It was kind of like set up like a parkour type of fucking playground. Nice. You know? And our fort was being attacked by another group. Mother, they wanted this is to, like some Walking Dead type yes, shit. Yes, they wanted to take our resources and kill our people. Why not just come together? So what did I do? What did I have to do? I had to protect my people. I had to protect my home. And in this dream, I was wearing my tool bags, the ones I would typically <laughs> wear at work. <laughs> and I have, like, knives. I have, like, a hammer. I have all these types of things that would definitely easily kill somebody. So what do I do? I pull out a little stubby screwdriver, right? It's, like, this big. A screwdriver. A, screw, a little stubby screwdriver. Okay. You want the little fat handle? Yeah, it's, a, it's like, this big. Yeah, I know what you're A little about. stubby uh-huh. screwdriver. Uh-huh. And... I'm getting down with that thing. So what do I do? There's like 10 dudes that are trying to attack me. I'm doing parkour shit. I'm doing John Wick moves. Parkour. And all those dudes, I take them out. Fuck yeah. Each of them. No no less than five stabs each. Some to the throat. Some to the chest. You know? God damn. They're just done. They're out. And that was one of the dreams. Another dream was where I was actually sitting in front of Papa John's <laughs> with my girl. You a big Papa John's guy? I love Papa John's okay. actually. You okay. know, d- despite, makes sense. Despite despite the, um, <laughs> the his controversy, he makes some what good do you mean fucking controversy? pizza. Controversy? He did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he made, but it was controversial. He makes yeah. some good fucking pizza. He makes a good pizza. Yeah, but okay. um, that girl dipped himself in water. Goddamn right. And the peppers too, man. But anyways, I was sitting in front of Papa John's. This was late at night. I was my, my girl was in my car with me. And then so a fight kind of breaks out in front of my car. And then I'm kind of like, oh, shit. And like some more people start getting involved. And then eventually my whole car is surrounded with people fighting. What the right? fuck? But not only are they fighting each other, they're also kind of like bumping into my car and hitting uh-huh. my car and stuff uh-huh. like that. And so I'm like, well, shit, what the fuck am I going to do? I look at my chick. I look back at what's going on. I put my car in reverse and I fucking run right over all down. Fuck yeah! I mow them all Fuck down. Yeah. All of them. Fuck them. Every single one. Fuck them. And then so right after that, I go. I don't know exactly where I my destination was, but I end up standing in front of a shitload of people. Uh huh. And I end up telling them, "This country is being attacked and overrun by terrorists." We need to fucking stand up, and we need to protect this place. It's getting real American in this bitch. It's getting real fucking American. <laughs> and you know what? I took that as kind of like a... I didn't want it to be kind of... I didn't want it to be a premonition, you know what I'm saying? But I was like... At that time, I had been seeing a lot of the, you know, the protesters, you know, attacking the people's cars and stuff like that. And I was like, man, please do not let that happen because I will not stop for no fucking protesters. Like I said, there's a law now that you can run those bitches over. And I will gladly because I would rather wreck my car myself than them do it. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather re- I'd rather wreck my car with their faces in my windshield. I do need a fat check on that on that law, though, for sure. Don't know if it's real. Probably not. It doesn't, Probably sound, not. doesn't sound real. But, but <laughs> you go to jail. I don't give a fuck. I will go to jail for that shit. Really? Yes. So you instead of your car getting broken, you'd rather go to jail? No. What I'm saying is, if I'm trying to get to some place and they're blocking a road, I'm trying to get the Papa John, motherfucker. Bitch, I need my pizza. <laughs> if I'm trying to get somewhere and they start attacking my car because I'm honking at them or I'm interrupting their peaceful protest, I'm gonna run them the fuck over. <laughs> If they start attacking me. Like they do in, like, uh, England and shit. Have you been seeing that? No. Big-ass semi-trucks are trying to block it. And he just starts going, and they're sitting there, like, stop, stop. And he just won't stop until they move. But is that those, like, um, those people that are trying to, like, protect Earth and all that shit? They're just sitting in front of the roads? Okay, yeah. Gotcha. See, that's different. They're, they're not doing shit to you. You mean the people that are actually trying to fucking hit the car and break it? I don't know if you've seen recently, but... And like Chirac. There was this one, uh, I want to say, yeah, it was in Illinois, actually. There was this one old man, he was driving a Prius, and he was stopped by, uh, 
free Palestine protest, right? A peaceful protest, or so they say. And they were protesting, and this this guy's just trying to get somewhere. I don't know if he was yelling no slurs at him. Probably was. I really don't know. <laughs> was he was he Caucasian? He was absolutely. He was the same color as his white Prius. He was probably he's probably yelling some, some slurs. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Video he did, video slurs. didn't show. <laughs> <laughs> but what I did see was um, he tried getting away. He drove past him a little bit, but they ended up chasing him down and, you know, blockading him in. They ended up ripping him out of his fucking car. And he got attacked. See, why the fuck do people do that? Why? <laughs> and so, see what I'm saying? I'm I'm ra- I'm, I'm going to defend myself, baby. So you see what's been happening recently? What? So in Long Beach, I'm sure this happened all over California because you see it, like, not even just to mention the looters. It's younger kids, like, in high school still, you know, uh-huh. looting, like, Gucci and shit, and just running running in, running out, you know? And, uh, um, some guy in Long Beach said, I was just walking, just doing my, my normal walk, and uh, these, like, 10, 12-year-olds just jumped him, mm-hmm. just for fun. And Long Beach is going to start suing the parents of those kids. Like, if this keeps happening, they're they're going to... Every kid, they're going to sue the parents $5,000. They're five, going to fine them. $5,000. Each parent. So yeah, like, I think it should be more. It, I, I know, but it's like, dude. That's insanity. But let me ask you this. Have a fucking handle on your kid. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. But let me ask you this. If I'm that man, and say, say you were just a bystander on the street across the street you watch me get jumped by these 10 or 12 kids whatever okay and i eventually get a grip on what i'm doing and i beat the fuck out of every single one of them are you gonna shame me for it a fuck no and this actually (laughs) happened in california like earlier in the year like Uh early like i think like march maybe right ex-marine he got. He started getting jumped by like a bunch of 13, 14 year olds. Mm-hmm. Him and his friend, and they started beating the fuck out of him. But they actually ended up getting fucked up because there was way too many kids. Oh, okay. It was like thirty or forty kids. Wow. But they went to jail. The Marines did. The Marines. You know what? They went to jail. And I think. And everyone was backing the Marines. They that, were like, "Look what the kids were doing in the video." Yeah, you're absolutely right in that. And again, that is a risk I'm willing to take. I'm fucking throwing hands with these 12 year olds. Yeah, they kept like just fucking with them, like pushing them and shit. Like just like doing like annoying ass kid shit. But like 40 of them, they just started throwing hands, baby. Okay, like, you can only on, fight so many on. fucking 12 or 13 year olds. Okay, but were they kind of poking the bear and then the Marines attacked? Or did the kids attack first? Oh, they were totally poking the bear. But I think they did something like they tried to take something from him. That's why they started attacking. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I might have seen that video, but I cannot recall. It's fucked up, though. But I would gladly throw hands with some fucking underage children. So, there's another thing, speaking about the Marines. Um, there was a study recently, and I know, like, they doctors basically count anybody as obese. Like, I'm pretty sure you're overweight. Maybe not anymore, actually. I don't know. But <laughs> they said 70% of all military in the United States is overweight. Uh-huh obese right and i was like holy fuck we're so fucked yeah and that's fucking ridiculous because i mean you go to a doctor just like you're saying yeah like i'm obese we know this but like right yourself like just a normal normal joe schmo goes into the doctor gets his physical uh you're overweight right normal joe schmo and they look good and they look fine yeah right who the fuck are you to tell me that shit what are you a fucking doctor huh what are like you fucking nutritionist, huh? Like it just doesn't make sense that like I feel like um, they need to have a better grading scale. I would say, like, that your brothers are a pretty beefy boy, you know. Yeah, he's a thick guy. Would they count? Would they say he's obese? Yeah, I bet you they would. But he's fit as fuck. He is that he can run for like a month. He's fit as fuck. Yeah, he's totally. So it's fit. like, how many of those motherfuckers are in the military? You know. And I bet you there's even some dudes that are obviously bigger and chunkier than him. In the military. that kind of even look physic not out of shape, but they look a little bigger and pudgy. Uh-huh. That will uh, blow normal people out of the water as far as physical activity. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Like and I, yeah. They need to have a bit because, like, that's just a fucking uh, what do you call it? Uh, attention a attention grabbing thing. They're, they're fucking their grading scale is terrible. The grading scale is terrible, but they're just trying to clickbait. 
Oh, 70% we're fucked, but like, how fucked are we all? You know? And, uh... I had one last dream. Oh. Oh, I thought I thought that was it. No, I got one more. Okay. This is the most recent dream I had. Okay. I have uh, a dream for you, too. But these dreams were within a week span. Oh, this week. Uh, like, starting what last week? Or was Thursday today? Uh, I want to say it started probably mid midweek last week no and ended around Thursday. the weekend. Uh-huh. Okay? So, um, this last dream... It was about this one dude that I went to. We went. I we went to high school with him. His name. Uh, oh shit! Big dick. Do you know, do you know him? I know he's got a fat old dick. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, there had been rumors that he had been touching this little girl, right? Possible. And so. Possible. This chick. Uh, she had blonde hair, blue eyes. Uh huh. And then eventually, it got back to me. And then I went up to him and I, I asked him, I was like, hey, man. Were you in high school at the time in this dream? No. He, the, he looked in my dream the exact way he looks now. The oh. exact way I I've seen him, him on Instagram posts. I don't follow him. And he looks exactly okay. the way he did in real life, right? And so I confronted him about it. I was like, hey, man, I've been hearing this shit. Is it true? Like, what's up? Well, first of all, like, I don't I don't consider myself to be a friend, an acquaintance, or anything of, of him. You're just an Instagram follower? Just a follower. And right after this, I will unfollow. But <laughs> I asked him, I was like, hey, man, I heard, I've been hearing this shit. Is uh-huh. it going on? And then he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, he was bragging about yeah. it. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then so what I did, I grabbed him by his shirt. I threw him on the floor. Beat the fuck out of him. And I choked him out like Homer does bark. I know what you're trying. Oh, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I choked him out like that until his eyes rolled to the back of his head and he was unresponsive. You knocked his ass out. No, he died. Oh, fuck. he fucking died. He wasn't, he wasn't coming back. He wasn't waking up. God damn. Put his legs above his head. He's not waking up. You got some hate towards him? I don't know what it was, honestly, dude. I don't know. I really don't know why that happened. What does that mean? I, what do these dreams mean? I, I think, you don't want to be honest? Do you, yes. Man, you got to beat the fuck out of your dick, bro. Just fucking. No, no, that's not it. <laughs> no. no uh, Definitely you know, not it. Dreams can mean a lot of things. Yeah, they can mean a lot. See, I, I've always been curious. I think I think the show tonight is is gonna do wonders for you, with your mental health. I hope so. Throw some fucking spin kicks, doing all uh, that one nine seven video where you were fucking two step, and that was fires. Which one was fun? It was in Pomona. Nope. Which one was? Fun? I tagged you in my story. And I was like, I I spy with my. Oh, was that for bare minimum? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're sick. Dude, bro. that was fire. You're yeah. you're fucking hitting that shit like crazy. Yeah, Even yeah. I started stu- two step when I saw it. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, dude, it's so cool, right? Yeah. It, it felt good. Bro, Tony throws some spin kicks. You know, like when people go into the crowd and they throw a kick, do one of those. But the thing is, like, I don't. You're, you're not. You're not. You're you're a gentle mosher. Yeah. You don't you don't want to hurt people unless they hurt you first. No, I, I I'm not really a crowd killer type of guy. I know. You know. But I feel like that anger will just fucking get you going. Where's this at, anyways? Pomona, right? Glass House? No, it's, um... The Haven? The Haven, correct. The Haven, the Haven. Like, so, I, you mentioned it earlier. I really do want to go to some shows with you. So fucking go, pussy. Can you just, like, remind... Like, so this one... Um, I told you a week prior. No, no, this one, I, I take blame on. Tell me a week prior. I would love to go. I told you a week prior on the last no, one. No, no, no. That one I said I couldn't go. This one, I said I could go, but we haven't hung out with Jake in a month now. It's been exactly a month, okay, <laughs> to today. Right. And I asked if he wanted to go, and he said he'll pass. So I said, you know what? I'll hang out with Jake because he's, oh, but you can go, though. And I was like, fuck. So I was like, okay, so I'll go with Jake. I'll go rock climbing. I don't mind. Rock climbing right. is cool. So I, I would still love to go. Keep my reading shows. Don't fucking stop because I want to go. I'd like to go. Okay. I'd love to go. Bro, because I went for a run, bro. Imagine me, I can two step now. I'll be fucking hitting the two step in that motherfucker. Yeah, you know? You were able to before. No, the fuck I wasn't. No, the fuck I wasn't. Yes, you were. Fuck no. No. No way. You definitely were. Throw some spin kicks on some fools. Axe kick a bitch. I don't know. You hit you like that, huh? I think so. Do you want to try it? Damn. You know like that Conor McGregor like spin kick that he does where he plants his hand and he kicks it up? I get my leg like that. I can do that. Pretty nice. 
So like, he does like a spin, he plants his hand, his left hand, mm -hmm. left foot, then he throws a kick like high. I can do that. Oh yes, yes, yes. I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah. So, you know, I think I can get a good axe kick going if I get if I get a little limber. I haven't stretched in a while. Oh, you stopped doing the stretches? Well, I stopped going to the gym. But this weekend, I will start going to the gym again. Oh, it's done. 12 hours are done? 12 hours are done. Whoops. 12 hours are done. You did it. I did it. Two weeks, right? Uh, yeah, two weeks. Are they giving you guys any time off? It's like one day off? Like, hey guys, no, you guys I don't right want now? any time off. I don't want any time off. The way things are going right now, I want every fucking day I can take. Nice. Except for maybe weekends. I'll take, I'll take weekends off. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, like my weight loss is doing fucking great. I started doing a 23-hour fast since uh, last week. I lost like six more pounds. So like my time to eat is from 5.30 to 6.30, but I had to eat right there. Right? So how many calories are you consuming? I have no fucking idea. Very little. So, all right. <laughs> so all those people that were concerned for your health. And um, then I listened for like that one week. And I stopped. Like, no, no. So... Uh, I've been doing pretty good, but today, uh, I was a lot more busy than normal. I think that took a lot of effect on me, because I had the worst headache all day, since like maybe twelve. Uh huh. And then the second I started eating that fucking peanut butter toast, fucking, I'm chilling, baby, chilling. And I feel bad for Jake, cause I, I told him, hey, bro, I'm on my diet, cause you wanted to go out to Costa Sanchez. And I was like, oh, cool, dude, let's go. But then actually, I, that one. Yeah, the oh. one, uh, your place. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, at the FTI, bro. You were going to the thing, though. Could have waited. <laughs> Could have waited. But uh, I told him, hey, bro, what's my diet? Do you mind if I like cook us dinner or something? And he was like, oh, sure, bro. Oh, there you go. We can go another day. Yeah, exactly. We're not going. And then uh, at like 12 o'clock, I was like, fuck, I'm starving. And then I was like, fuck. I forgot to pull out the meat. So I told Jacob, hey, bro, do you mind just getting some food beforehand? And I'll just eat my own shit. And he's like, okay. So I feel bad because uh, I did promise him some fucking chicken tacos. So, yeah. But there's that. And then uh, they yeah, told me. You, you promised a lot of things. I know. I know. <laughs> but uh, they told me. This is what they told me at work. So at the weight loss challenge, everyone's scared to get on the scale. I don't know why. They wait till the last day. I get on the scale every day. Almost every time I go in the office, I get on the scale. Every day? Every day. Just because I want to know how I'm doing. Because they can think they're doing good and they get on the scale. Oh, I only did this much. I thought I was doing so good. Yeah, you thought. Bitch. You fucking check. I'm not afraid to get on that motherfucker. The lady told me today. She was like, oh, by the way, uh, on the last day, take your shoes off and weigh yourself. I was like, really? That way, boots and all, baby. I took them off today. I didn't let anybody see because I want them to know. You know what you should do, bro? Take a towel. A towel? Take a towel. Go to the restroom, get naked. Take a towel. Oh, yeah. Just fucking, uh, fucking Khabib and DC fucking that shit. Just and fucking... You just wrap that towel up like you're going into a fucking I can do a sauna. D I, yeah, I can do a DC way and kind of push on the towel and shit, you know? You know, like you're going into a sauna. Uh-huh. And, um, boom, just do it naked. No clothes or nothing. Well, it's because I noticed because, like, I weigh in with my shoes on, with my work boots... But I see everyone take their boots off before they get on the scale. Except for Ivan. Mm -hmm. Okay. When no one was in the office, I took my boots off. Bro, they're five and a half pounds. Wow. Bro. Wow. Bro, so I already lose all this weight, right? There's there's a fucking lady who's fucking on my ass. But she wears no boots on the way in. So when I go over there and she's still riding my ass, I feel like I'm fucking kicking her ass this week. You're five pounds ahead. Bro, I, that's a five pound jump. No one's catching me, bro. So, now that I know in my head, oh my god, damn, watch. They're going to see They're gonna see on the 17th, baby. Hey, man. Hey, man. They're going to see on the 17th. I'm not giving up. Don't start lacking. No. Don't start lacking now just no. because, you know, you're... Because I had that one pounds. bad weekend like a few weeks ago, like three weeks ago. And that sent me back, bro. It sent me back far, but we're good oh, yeah. now. Because I went from 283 to 290, right? In one weekend. Because yeah, I, I drank a lot. That. I drank a lot. I did drink a lot. Because I was like, I didn't eat that much, but I was like, yeah, I had a fuck ton of beer. Like a fuck ton. So, there was that. And then after, I've just been fucking grinding, baby. Yeah. So, hopefully, it's going good. On your shit. Yeah. But uh, my shits have been a little more consistent, except for the past few days, which is bothering me, because, like, I want to take your shit. And I'll sit there on the toilet, just fucking, fucking trying to. And I even had a dream last night. That's what I was going to get to. So, uh, last week, everyone, after you left, 
I shit myself. Literally, in real life. That's not a dream. Legit shit myself. Right, right. I was changing oil. I remember that. And uh, I went to go put some chocks on the, on, the, on the wheels of the car. And I bent down. And I was like, oh, my stomach hurts. And I stand up. And I was like, oh, my God, I puckered. And because I haven't shit in days. You know, I was talking about rabbit pebbles. I haven't shit in days. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, okay, just squeeze. And I feel it like, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to shit myself. So I squeeze harder. And that's when it comes out. It out of my asshole. I shit myself. And I walk into the house like fucking, you know, as close together as possible. I don't want to get shit all over my ass. And, uh, you know, there was that little strip there of shit. I sent you guys a picture. There was no way I wasn't sending a video, by the way. No way. I wasn't letting that slide. I know Jake's not a big shit video guy, but... Got to. That was the nasty shit I took in in a while. Did you watch the video? I don't remember. The video. It was. I know I, I know. I watched it. I don't remember it. It was just straight fucking liquid, liquid That's death. That's disgusting. Liquid death. Acidic as fuck. <laughs> it was, dude. It was fucking nasty. But last night, uh, what the fuck were we doing? It was all of us. We were out at like a baseball game or something, just like fucking. But it was like a, it was like a Mets game kind of thing. But it wasn't yeah, yeah, the yeah. Mets. We're just out. There's a lot of people there, and I shit myself. <laughs> and I was like, I was "What are you? What are you traumatized?" Yeah, dude. I don't know. I woke up. I was like, "Dude, I fucking shit myself." And I checked, and I'm dead. I didn't shit myself. Thank God. Luckily. But God damn, it was so weird. And uh, yeah, besides fucking you shitting myself, when you are in those dreams and you're fighting people, have you ever had to where like you're so weak and slow when you're fighting someone? Cause I, in the dream? Yeah, I thought that was just me, and I saw, like, a real, like, years ago about it, like, someone had the same thing. You know, like, oh, when you close your eyes and you see the white spots, I thought that was just me, but it's not. What do you, what do you mean? Like, you look at the light, and then you close your eyes and blink, there's that, that fucking splotches. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I thought that was just me, for one, until I saw a bunch of memes about it. Uh-huh. And then I saw this other one where I was like, oh, me trying to fight in a dream, and the guy's like... like your that. opponent. Me! Yourself. Why is that? I don't know. No, other, man. When other I, people have it. Other people have it, too. Well, that me, dude. When I was fighting, I was John Wick and these fools, No, bro. that used to happen to me. So, like, it was always this one fucking kid, though. This is what I was like, I'm at your school. And I'd always fucking fight this guy. And every punch would be in slow motion. And he'd just beat my ass and laugh at me in my face. And then I'd wake up. And I'm like, God damn, dude. Like, why can't I ever beat this guy's ass? Sounds like PTSD to me, brother. Something. And uh, now, like, I just fight normal. If I ever fight anybody in a dream, I don't really fight anybody. But, uh... I'm extremely athletic. In your dreams? Yeah. Just fucking... <laughs> I know, I wish I was like that, man. There is one more dream I had that I do want to bring up. Did you shit yourself? No, I did not shit myself, but, I mean... <laughs> oh, oh, that's another I question. I could have. I could have. Do you wake up sweating in these dreams? Yes. Yeah. Pouring I sweat. Yeah. The, like, weird dreams like that? Because, uh, recently, my dreams, like, the past few months... It's like one thing and it jumps to another thing, but it's all the same people, the same cast. And it just gets weirder and weirder and weirder. And uh, then it just gets so fucking weird, like alien type shit. And then I wake up and I wake up drenched. Yeah. Okay, so continue. I, yeah, I'm, I'm a naturally... Uh, sweaty. I'm a naturally sweaty guy. Uh-huh. You know, I sweat a lot. You gotta sleep with a blanket though. I got to. It's the weirdest It's just a comfort thing. thing. It's the weirdest thing. You know? Thing. But anyway, this last dream that I want to talk to you about... I was, I woke up in my dream in kind of like a, what do you call it? A, so you're dreaming. Like you woke up in a dream. I woke up. No, no, no. In my dream. So yeah, I in dream, dream and I wake up. Uh-huh. Right? So I wake up. It's kind of like uh, those bird's nests on, on the freaking pirate ships. Uh-huh. You know, the very, the tallest ones, the people that are looking, looking out, you know, the bird's nests. Well, I wake up. And then it's it's a construction site. It's all dark. Oh, fuck. You know, God damn it, I'm at work already? Yeah, there's a couple lights here and there. And it, and then so I, I climb down this long-ass fixed ladder. Mm-hmm. And then there's there's some people that are kind of looking for me. They're chasing me, right? Oh, shit. Within the construction site. And I'm, I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, I'm one of those ducks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I am, man. But I'm looking for a way out. Eventually, I find a way out. But that way out... Leads me back in. And it's just a never-ending fucking Inception game. Inception type shit. It's just a never-ending game. I, I find the way out multiple times, and it just leads me back in. It's like a... 
It's like a fucking, uh, what do they call it? Genjutsu? Is it's that, that purple eye, it's that Rinnegan type stuff. Yeah, it's like they get you in a dream. So it's like, for one, you're dreaming, and then you're already in a fucking fake dream about your dream. And like in Naruto, the Genjutsu, there's one of them where they're trying to find the way out, and they just like, what the fuck, I was already here. I was already oh, yes, here. Yes, I was yes. already here. Yes, I do remember that. So it's like a Genjutsu, bro. You had a fucking release, bro. So, dude, I would love, love to go to a dream reader. I don't... That's the devil, bro. You know that? I would love to... I mean... You know, psychics are the devil? It's interesting. It's interesting, but... You just want to figure out what it is. Let's look it up right now, bro. Look no, it up. No, no. What does violent it, dreams mean? I think... It, it's That's going to be okay. the same bullshit as astrology. It's going to give me... Oh, you're fucking Aries. You feel so fucking giddy. You're going to be fucking whatever. You want to know uh, what my dad told me? Oh. Uh. He was like... You think about it like this. Or he actually told my girlfriend. But he was like... Dylan loves Aries. He loves Aries. Okay. Okay. My girlfriend, Penelope, and you. Uh, you're all Aries. Okay. And he was like, something about Capricorns love Aries. And look at Dylan. Does he know that? Probably not. I didn't know that. Do you think it's a thing? No. Do you think I have a lot of friends that are born in March? No. I think it's just a coincidence, dude. You think so? Because I don't believe in astrology. I Neither do I. But I do find it interesting when it gets talked to, to me about uh, it. I'm like, yes, I want to hear more. Isn't your girl like super uh, like uh, astrology type? No, like she not, likes it? Not really. Or more just the crystals? Not even really that. She's kind of more collects. Yeah, she's, she's like a camp. She Patterson. likes the shiny rocks. Oh, dude, I tried to get in those tickets to fucking Tom Zagura, bro. Sold out instantly. Yeah, man. Hey, you can't. Because he's playing over here in uh in Highland. He's too. Uh, he's too big time. That piece of shit. He's too big time. Okay, anyways, continue with your with your dream story. But I just think that astrology stuff. For example, like the apps, right, where it Generic. sends you like, oh, these are your daily, uh-huh. daily manifestations or whatever. I don't know what to even call it. They're so, so generic. They can apply to anybody, anybody. and everybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't believe it. I don't, I don't, I don't believe it either. My dad it. is huge on the signs. Huge. Mm-hmm. Like uh, every day he used to send me my astrology sign. And but okay, what's weird is that some of the days he would send it to me, because this is when I this when I didn't live here, he would send it to me, and I'm like, that just happened today. Uh huh. He was like, really? I was like, that just happened today. Some weird shit, you know? That's what's weird. You know, and if uh, I don't even know how would I was gonna say if it's real. That's what kind of makes me believe. But then you have to think about it like this: the power of manifestation is real to me. If you can manifest it, it'll happen. If you speak it, it'll happen. Uh, I if mean, you speak it enough. See, I believe that to an extent. Like how? Because you can speak it all you want, but if you're not making any action to do it, you're not going to do exactly, shit. Exactly, exactly. But the thing is, uh, the three six nine rule. You write it down three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times before you go to bed. Okay. And you do it every fucking day, and it'll happen. All right. That's the the three six nine rule. Which I haven't done. I just, I thought it was very interesting myself. But look at Israel Adesanya, bro. Okay. He's the manifestation king. All right. Israel Adesanya is also an extreme elite athlete. Okay. Do you know what happened against him and Alex Pereira? No, I don't know what happened. About the, the hotel room mirror? No, I don't know what happened. He, he, he posted the picture after with the timestamp and everything. Okay. With a, he had something there to show the date. Okay. He wrote it on the mirror. He said... I will knock out Alex Pereira in this round. Okay. On this day, okay. on Amir, and he took a picture, and he's and then he put, "I manifest it." Did it. So he did it. So what what happens with Gordon Ryan, where he writes down the the submission? Manifestation. Is that manifestation, or is that just they're that good they can make it happen? There, uh, I think it has to do with like a boat of confidence, just like a literal whole fucking ship of confidence, and. I understand what you're saying, but that also comes with the Being level of elite elite, that they are. Eliteness, yes. They have it like that. Yes, you know I know. What I'm saying? So I know. Going back to the three six nine rule but that you Israel were talking Adesanya about, Israel doesn't just use his manifestation for for fighting. He uses it for a lot of shit. He's a manifestation king, and Sean Strickland manifested that he was going to be Israel Adesanya. Oh, look, understood. I I I agree with you. Manifestation, I believe in it as well, uh-huh. but to an extent. 
just like you were saying, the three, six, nine rule or whatever, you can write it down three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, nine times at night, uh -huh. all you want. Uh -huh. You can do that shit every day for a year. If you're not working But if you're not day. doing anything, nothing's uh -huh. gonna happen. You're just gonna fucking fill up a notebook. I'm glad you brought this up because a Jake told me the other day, like, I think it was two days ago or something, he was like, he was like, look, you see all these fucking drug dealing motherfuckers, like, posting fucking mental health shit, you know? Because I posted a mental health reel, and he talks like, oh, look at all these fuckers, like, posting this shit. Like, like, uh, like, you know, like, fuck boys that post, like, prayer shit on their fucking story? Okay. Yeah. He's like, they're posting it, but they don't do anything about it. They're just posting it to show people that, like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Wait, you're saying the fuck boys that post prayer shit on yeah. their story. So, what, okay, so what do you mean by fuck boys? Is it, is it Pastor West? That black pastor on Twitter. I don't know who the hell that is. Okay. For example, there's this guy that I know. Every fucking day, he'll post this, this, uh, this pastor that's on Twitter. Who posts, like, a big, like, fucking prayer in the morning. He'll post it on his Instagram story every fucking day. Okay. But I know him, bro. Okay. He just fucks hella bitches, drinks, and parties. Can't, so believe, like, can't believe in Jesus if you fuck bitches and party? No? You know how I feel about this. It's like, if you're not all in, then why the fuck even do it? So it's like, you're posting this motivational shit, right? But if you're not, like, striving to be better, uh -huh. you're just posting motivational shit, just like you said, it's nothing's gonna change. You're just posting motivational shit just to post it. I'm just writing my 369 in a notebook just to fucking write it. If I'm not personally trying to get better myself, why the fuck am I going to do it? Why post it? Okay, but who's to say outside of that fucking and partying, he's not doing self-improvement or he's not connecting with the higher power that he believes in? You're going to hell. Sorry, buddy. No? <laughs> you got to fucking repent, maybe. You know... 7-7 seven, seven on 7. Jesus Christ. Repent. Repent is the name of the game. 7-7-7 seven, seven, seven times 7. So are, so are you all about Jesus Christ? Not anymore. You know that. Okay. You know how I feel. Right, right. You know how I feel. There's a... I think, I think there's loopholes because in the Bible it talks about repenting. It's like 7 times 7 times 7. Something like that. It's like... Not that good at multiplication. Whatever it is, that's the amount of time you need to repent for like a sin to be removed. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Something like that. We can find it later, but something like that. Like something to do with seven seven seven, you repenting that many times, it's like you're forgiven. You know? It's weird. That's where the seven 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 comes from. So I mean, I don't know how this goes. Uh from Christianity to Mormonism or anything like that, but... Oh, well, we don't do soaking in Mormonism. But what I'm saying is... Christianity. If, if, if you can find that loophole and get forgiven, why not just go all in and then get forgiven afterwards? Because I think he knows your mind. You know? And if... Oh. Uh. If, like... Here's... You're just posting the post, and what's the fucking point? It's like, oh yeah, I'm just posting that that I know God or some shit. Uh huh. You know? Does it make sense? I understand what you're saying. I I, I get what you're saying, but the thing is, yeah. It's kind of like, for example, like my mom, right? Okay. She's a real big believer. Uh huh. But she she herself isn't all in. How? She's not going to church. You know. Uh, She's not... You don't, you don't have to go to church to, to believe in God. Okay. Not everyone has access to a church. I would just take church out of that. What, what, what's some other examples? Well, she definitely sins every day. How? She tells me that. She tells me that. Oh, I sin. Everybody sins. But does she repent? I don't fucking know. You should ask her. I'm sure she, pray, or she prays every day, I'm sure. Well, prayer and repenting, like, it kind of goes hand in hand. Because uh -huh. you're praying, like... If you're, I bet you your mom repents. Because everyone sins every day because no one's perfect. Right. Right? But I think God sees that your mom tries. But, like, I don't think God will give an exception for someone just posting something on their Instagram story and then going out and fucking bitches and drinking all night. But the thing is, <laughs> wouldn't Jesus want him to fuck bitches and get money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wouldn't Jesus want him to thrive in this beautiful earth? No. On this God-given green earth? 
I saw this actual uh, there was like a some guy at a college and he made a good, really good point mm-hmm. that Jesus wanted people who were like the homeless the prostitutes like the fuck ups he wanted them to come to him to show like you know what true love is like cause God is a, a real love you know Okay. and he was like how come everyone's always a fucking against it like why how come strippers and prostitutes can't come to Jesus and like you know change their life and shit he's like that's what Jesus wanted oh, that's a good point good fucking point because Jesus wasn't going to the rich people and fucking oh you know fucking pray for me and shit like, he'd go to the people who are dying or struggling in life you know you said strippers and prostitutes there's some strippers and prostitutes that might fucking bank no it's not that it's just like <laughs> it's like the people who are like and especially back in those times those strippers and prostitutes were not making bank they were just the people there people who were down and out the people who were yeah. struggling those are the people that Jesus was going to that's who this guy was trying to get to he needs to subscribe to soft white underbelly the fuck is that? You, you know what South White Underbelly is. It's where that, that guy, uh, Mark Leisha, I think, Mark Leica is his name. He goes, uh, he interviews people, um, gang members, prostitutes, pimps, crackheads, meth heads. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, you know, he, he interviews people of all walks of life that are down bad. Uh huh. And he interviews them like a year later, right? Yeah, you've seen them, yeah, right? I've seen them. Yeah. Some of those transformations are crazy. Yeah, they're insane. Do you think that, like, because I remember I saw one of them, you, when he, when he came back, you couldn't tell the difference. And he said, he's like, yeah, when I, when I had the interview with you, I felt like really bad about myself. And I took a year to trans- transform. And this is me now. He's like, I used to weigh like 120, I weigh like 180 now. Mm. I work out every day. I got a job now. Mm. I don't do drugs anymore. It's like, they, like, I feel like, this person doing that interview with them really helps them, really helps them out mentally. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm sure it did because it's like prior to that, obviously, I don't know what this what person the, was uh-huh, thinking, uh-huh. but I would imagine that they weren't really telling themselves, wow, I'm fucking up a lot, right? Or they're not really going back and rewinding their life story of how they got to the point that they're at. Mm-hmm. But with him doing that interview, asking them these real specific questions, he. He rewinded the clock, you know? He rewinded the tape. It, like, clicks in their brain, you know? And he had them play their life back chapter by chapter. Yeah. And they just realized, damn, dude, I'm fucking up. Mm -hmm. Some of them, at least. Right? That's what I think happened. A little off topic. Have you seen that, like, uh, that white guy drives around in a truck and he offers homeless people jobs? No, no, I haven't actually. Really cool guy. I forgot his Instagram, man. Or I'll plug him because that's, you know, he's doing a good deed. He owns his own, like, landscaping business and he hires people. And he talks to him for a few minutes on the side of the street. And he's just in his truck. He's like, hey, man, you looking for a job? You willing to work? He's like, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. He's like, I don't have my glasses, so I can't see. And he made a real connection with this one homeless guy. And he got him a phone. He said, call me. Someone stole his phone. And he's like, I've been looking for you, man. He found him again. He's like, hey, your sister f- found one of my videos and she saw you. She misses you. And he's like, my sister doesn't fucking miss me. He's like, she doesn't fucking miss me. No, she doesn't. She hates me. She told me that years ago, 20 years ago. He's like, no, dude, she misses you. She, she wants you to come home. So, okay. Good deed. Good 20 deed years day. ago, man. Yeah. And the guy really wanted to work for me. He's like, yeah, they stole my new glasses you bought me and they fucking stole my cell phone. She's like, I've been struggling out here. I'm crazy. Those bastards. And they were freaking uh, prescription glasses? How are they going to work for up. that other person? Hooked How are up. they going to work for that person that stole them? People are just pieces of shit out there. Haters. Fucking haters. I don't know, but everyone's got to repent, you know? you got to repent. I'm going to repent for my sins later today. <laughs> just fucking straight beating that shit out of somebody? For the violence that I will commit. <laughs> I saw, like, this uh, this one girl, like, in a... I think it was the glass house. I'm not sure. She got on top of a dude... Got him like this and just started punching him. I was oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. I hope she knows that guy at least. Yeah. But because if that's a random, like, if she did that to me, I'd throw her down. No, she does. She does. I just, boom. She does. I know exactly who you're talking about. Really? Yeah. She did that to you? No, 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 no. She, but she, you've seen her? Yeah. I'd fucking body slam the fuck out of her. She's actually very friendly with uh, with everybody that goes to Oh, so to she's shows. cool then? Yeah, she's, okay. she's very friendly with <laughs> She just gets a little violent. Yes. Has, has a band of her own as well. Sick. What is it? It's called Third Sex. Third Sex? Yeah, she, uh, that person is actually trans. Oh, no wonder they're being this shit, everybody. <laughs> Their testosterone's finally coming back. He's like, yeah, when I come to these shows, my testosterone comes back, my dick grows a little bit bigger. I've, I've yet to see, I've yet to see, uh, I've yet to see him perform, but... Who's playing tonight? Tonight, it's Ruin, Provoke, 
Wrath of Gods. They're fire. And um, I don't know. Muerta I Buena. They sound fire. Yeah, they're they're dope. All, all the bands on there are sick. You've been seeing Red Sun's got like over a thousand followers now. Really? I think they're like eighteen hundred followers, dude. It's good for them. And and I told them because uh, they they make I don't know their music is kind of like a the songs that I heard at least they're kind of like a ska hardcore crossover type. And the shows that they put on, because I would love to see them live, right? They're always like way out in East LA though. Not only that, but the shows that they put on and the crowd that they attract, it's not the crowd that I want to be around. What is the crowd? So, that... The helium puffers? Yes. I fucking knew it, dude. I it, knew it. I don't fuck with that. No, nah, me neither. I don't want that shit. Or the nitro puffers, I mean, not the yeah, Whatever it is. Yeah. It's the fucking gas huffers. Something. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know exactly what you're talking you know? about. Uh-huh. And, and, and I told him, I was like, hey, man... You know, get involved with the with the straight edge motherfuckers. Get involved with the inland hardcore scene, dude. Yeah, dude. Get involved with those shows. Those like uh, all the the one nine seven videos and promoter, the, the shows look sick. Yeah, no, they they are super sick. And granted, although they do have a big following in East LA and they do attract a lot of people, I think they do better here. They would do better here, and I agree. they would get so much more energy. I agree. I agree. You know? A red sun, come to fucking IE, bro. Come to Pomona. Yes. Come to San. Come to San Bernardino, baby. Yes. Play with some fucking uh, Tread Bundy. That'd be amazing. So they're playing with the Runts, bro. I want to go see that shit. Yeah. In Riverside. Yeah, and and, and Darsum and a bunch of uh, yeah. IEHC bands. Isn't Darsum more like a fucking heavy fucking band? They're fucking heavy, huh? Mm, that's hardcore. Really? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, but Tread Bundy, that'd be sick. Yeah, dude, that, I've yet to see them, too. They're, they're sick. They're sick. They're super sick. But uh, you ready to go? Yes, I am let's, ready let's to go. Let's go repent for our sins? Let's go repent for our sins. I'm going to go repent on that fucking toilet, because that black coffee is... I, I got a shit. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, that's great for you, man. <laughs> yes, very good. Uh, everyone, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Big Deal with Two Gs, but Twitter is underscore in between the two words. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram at Daddy's Dungeon Pod. Email us fucking question at Daddy's Dungeon Pod at gmail.com. Um, hold you want to go plug the rest, my boy? Daddy's Ninja P, X or Twitter. You can go ahead and follow mm-hmm. me Instagram mm-hmm. and Twitter, mm-hmm. Sick Puppy with two E's. Again, Daddy's Ninja Pod at gmail.com. Hit us up, shoot us some videos, whatever it may be. Yeah, please fucking send us some good ass memes. Music recommendations. That, you know, anything. that was a good one. Anything. We'll That's take a good one. We'll take anything and everything. Mm-hmm. But anyways, it's been a pleasure being here with you again. Repent. 